Hello friends, welcome to Infigyan once again in this very very exciting video of exponential equations. Today we are going to solve one very interesting exponential equation which is cube root of 2 plus root 5 plus cubic root of 2 minus root 5 equal to x root of x or x raised to the power 1 over x. x belongs to real number. So let's get started. While solving this problem, I will use exponent, exponent properties, identities mainly, and then we'll conclude our result using few manipulations. So let's get started. I will consider the given function equal to y. So let me write y will be equal to 2 plus root 5 whole power 1 over 3 plus 2 minus root 5 whole power 1 over 3. Take all the terms to left. So y minus 2 plus root 5 whole power 1 over 3 minus in bracket 2 minus root 5 whole power 1 over 3 equal to 0. Now I will write one unique identity of algebra which is states that a plus let me write a cube plus b cube plus c cube equal to this is what we know actually a plus b plus c and we will use this in second bracket it is a square plus b square plus c square minus ab minus bc minus ca and then plus thrice abc three times abc i am going to use this how i will presume let me change this color i will presume this is my a Along with this negative sign, I am going to consider it is B. Along with this negative sign, I am going to consider this is my C. Now C. A plus B plus C equal to 0. As per our equation. Because I have taken minus sign along with consideration. So B is equal to minus 2 plus root 5 whole power 1 over 3. C is minus 2 minus root 5 whole power 1 over 3 or cubic root. Okay, so once a plus b plus c equal to 0, then our equation, this given equation will convert a cube, let me write here, plus b cube plus c cube equal to, this whole term will be 0, so what would be left? 3 times a, b, c. This is something very, very interesting. Okay, so what I am going to write here, a cube. Let me write a cube. A is y. So this will give me y cube plus b cube. So b is our minus 2 times 2 plus root 5 whole power 1 over 3. If I will take the cube of that, then I will get minus in bracket 2 plus root 5. Same way minus 2 minus root 5 equal to three times a b c so let's take the product a is y b is minus c is also minus so i'm not going to write that minus times minus will become plus what i will write it will be cubic root of 2 plus root 5 and 2 minus root 5 okay 2 plus root 5 2 minus root 5. that now check what will be left in the left hand side. See, this minus root 5 will be cancelled with this plus root 5. Why? Minus times minus, this will be plus root 5 and minus root 5, it will be over. So what would be left overall? Y cube minus 4. And right hand side, 3 times Y cubic root of, let me solve whatever is inside. A plus B, A minus B. So I will write a plus b a minus b so this will give us a square minus b square that means 2 square 
minus root 5 is square. That means 4 minus 5, negative 1. So inside our bracket, what we will get? Negative 1. So cube root of negative 1. Now we know that minus 1 cube is negative 1. Take both sides cube root. So minus 1 will be equal to cube root of negative 1. Okay. So here I will write negative 3y. So which is equal to negative 3y. So this will convert. Take all the terms to left. One ideal equation which is cubic. And straight away you can observe y equal to 1 is 1 root also. Okay. So let me write this equation again. y cube plus 3y minus 4 equal to 0. y cube plus 3y minus 4 equal to 0. As I can see y equal to 1 is 1 solution. So I am applying directly synthetic division method. So 1, 0, y square coefficient is not there. So 0, y coefficient is 3, constant is negative 4. Put one line over there. Take leading coefficient as it is. Now take the product. 1 times 1, 1, 1. 1 times 1, 1, 4. 4 times 1, 4, 0. So what is left? I am writing overall factorization. y minus 1. y square plus y plus 4 equal to 0. So it was looking so complicated. Now it is converting in our control. Now I will write either y equal to 0, y equal to 1 or this quadratic should be equal to 0. Okay. So let me find out y square plus y plus 4 equal to 0. You can see a is 1, b is 1, c is 1. Let me find out because we are finding for real solution, x real. So y should also come real. Let me find out delta discriminant first. So that would be b square. Let me write that value. b square minus 4ac. b square is 1 is square 1 minus 4ac minus 16. Negative 15. Complex solution we will get. Complex solution or imaginary solution. So we will reject this solution. No need to find out y value from here. So what is ultimately what we are getting that is y equal to 1. Okay. So y equal to 1. So what was our y? y was our equation. So let me write here. I will write x power 1 over x which is equal to y equal to 1. Now it is very simple equation. So we will find out immediately. Take ln, ln both sides. One important point x cannot be equal to 0 as it is in the exponent denominator. So I will take ln both sides. I will write ln x power 1 over x equal to ln 1. So 1 over x ln x equal to 0. So because of x cannot be 0. So what will be 0? ln x will be 0. That means x must be equal to 1. This is the only real solution what we will be having from this exponential equation. I hope you like this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to check, you can put that value also. You can check because we have seen this is our 1 and this is 1 raised to the power 1 over 1. So 1 equal to 1. True. Verification is also done. I hope you like this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please do subscribe, like and share. Bye bye till next video.